going to do a quick video on the Carpe Diem, which is our HCX7360 tech, the LC uh, ASA tech. Uh, typically, I swing the X Core tech, so I'm swinging the I'm Gaming Syndicate right now. It's got 7,800 swings on it. This is brand new. Um, I watched Hunter, Hunter Platten absolutely kill it for Team Canada at the border battle with the Joker which is the LC tech. So I decided I had to grab one and uh, give it a whirl. I've only ever taken a couple swings with the LC tech to be truthful, uh, just because I love the x I never wanted to put it down. But uh, we're gonna put some swings on it and see it. At the end, we'll do uh, a few swings with the Syndicate. Try to make it a quick video just to kind of get a feel for the, for the LC tech. Let's see how it goes. a cool mic, like Cole Campbell with Hitting Up the Nation. So if my sound sucks, I'm sorry. I did take a couple swings before I started this video. I then realized I wanted another video on it. 90 off the fence after about 15 swings. These are all 52s that I'll be hitting with this bat. Uh, the LC Tech is only good for 52s. The X4 Tech is good for any ball you want to hit it with, within reason. Definitely a different feedback than the export. Different sound slightly. Uh -oh. Alright, that one was in the apartment buildings. I don't think it hit anything. the bottom of the fence. And no, I'm not really working on anything. I'm just trying to hit the ball hard and give any of the viewers a little bit of an honest feedback with the LC Tech. Typically, I'm always the guy that's suggesting like lower swing speeds to use our LC Tech since that's what it's geared for. But then after seeing Hunter kill it at the border battle with the Joker, I was like, okay, maybe, maybe I need to really give it a try and uh, stop just assuming that the LC Tech won't be as good for slightly above average swing speeds. That was a good one. It does feel good. I'm very curious what it's going to feel like after a couple hundred swings. The ball also isn't curving as much as it does. So when I hit off a tee with my X score or with my ACX, when I swing level at it, I get a lot of left to right curve. It's not doing that as much with this bat. Still doing it, but not as much. Into the apartment buildings. All right. So to do a quick comparison between the two, I have a couple of these these spin whatever RX tattoos. Um, they're like composite 52 essentially. So I want to do, I'll do three and three. Oh, 
coming off pretty good. Let's try to elevate one. Off the apartment walls for the locals here. That's one of the reasons we're not allowed to play on this field anymore. That and the windows we've all broken. All right. Now this is the Syndicate. Um, this is the x Tech. Like I said at the beginning, it's got like seven, eight hundred swings, so should be very much more broken in than the Carpet DM. Not exactly a fair comparison, but it's more, I want to understand the different feel in the tech, like side by side. Alright, now let's see if we can get under one. I mean, distance seems the same off the tee. Now again, I'm swinging at very beat up BP balls. Uh, years and years old. I do like the feel of it. I want to see, I want to see how it opens up after 100, 200 swings. Um, the distance is comparable, like I said, to my Syndicate that has 7, 800 swings. It's hard to tell with exit below just off of eyesight, so I can't really, can't really uh, comment on that one. Um, but if you're in the market. We have a one piece, the Carpe Diem, which is a 12 and a half inch barrel, just like all our one piece molds, um, and a half inch end load. And then we have the 22 a day, which is a 13 inch barrel, two piece, 13 inch barrel, half ounce end load. And then I think there was a couple Auroras in stock, which is a balanced version, um, but I think there's 25 ounces. Yeah, go on over to anarchybats.com, use code 50 off slicker to get 50 bucks off. Save a little bit of money. Swing anarchy.